Well, hello, hi, and welcome to the Mystic Soul Vine. This is Etta. I hope everyone is doing well today, and I want to welcome you to my channel. And this is a channel to where we dive into astrology, metaphysics, spirituality, and divination to heal our body, mind, soul, and spirit that, meet, that we may improve our daily lives. And I just want to thank you all for coming by, uh, for stopping by, rather, but uh, I decided to do a video today. Um, I had did one, and I think this is about the second week. Uh, but I have been detoxing, and sometime I've been, especially since this full moon, for some reason I've just been feeling really sluggish and not too much energy. And the, the moon is in my sign, the Scorpio. So I've been using that energy, taking advantage of it uh, with the... Um, moon in Scorpio and the sun in Taurus. But I'm not going to talk too much on that. Today I came here to do a video on um, what is spiritual attack. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video because I was spiritual. I, w I had a, a spirit, uh, psychic attack um, last night uh, while I was sleeping and, it, and I woke up. So I just wanted to uh, come here and share this with you all and if any of you all ever been psychically attacked in your dreams uh put it down off in the comment and let me know um um you know how did it work for you what did you do to try to improve um from having those type of um those type of uh, issues happening with you again but i'm going to share some things i'm going to tell you about what happened to me and we're going to talk about what uh spiritual attack is and we're going to talk about some, uh, you know, the things we can do to try to prevent those from happening to us. Um, because it's, it's, it's not nothing nice, but it's not nothing to be afraid of. Because we just have to know that we are divinely protected. Uh, you know, even if we do have those uh, uh, attacks and stuff coming at us like that. But we're going to talk about it. So what is a psychic attack? Well, you know... It's all about energy. Um, energy is all around us, and this energy, this now, this energy can either make us sick, or, it, or either it can make us healthy. So now, uh, if you're an empath like me, I've been an empath all, all my life. I've always been very sensitive to other people, places, and things. I can pick up, you know, on the energy of others. So I've been like that pretty much all my life. Um, but anyway, if you be in contact with certain people, if you're an empath, you, you can pretty much pick up on what type of person they are, whether they have a low frequency or a low vibration, or either, uh, you know, if they vibrate high. And it's the same uh, situations with, pers with people. And even in buildings or homes, you know, you can... You can tell, you know, what type of home it is if you're sensitive, you walk up into it because you're going to feel that vibration. And so now psychic attack, now it can come from the physical dimension as well as other realms and other dimensions. Now, um, when we're physically attacked, like I said, it can make us sick. You know, some people get really sick, you know, and, and they're not able to bounce back. But what's, what's happening is that the uh the your life force energy is being poured out of you and it's mainly your heart chakra you know um in in and when your heart chakra uh when your life force is being pulled away from you it usually pour from it comes from pour from the back and therefore your heart chakra it feels empty and void you know just like you don't have a soul or whatnot so you know we really have to be mindful of those type of issues because it can be a a, a matter of life or death if you don't take care of those things before it get too bad because you most definitely don't want to lose your soul <laughs> not that way okay so um and then, uh, and then another way uh, that it can happen is that sometime, you know, people, uh, someone may be, you know, sending bad vibes to you or either, you know, jealousy you or don't want to see you do well. And uh, they will be sending, uh, sending those bad vibes uh, towards you the, and those negative vibes, you know, they'll be sending that towards you. So, 
it's very important to keep yourself protected, but we're going to talk about that a little later. And also, you know, man, some, sometimes we can do it to ourselves too by having negative thoughts in our head all the time, you know, thinking negativity all throughout the day. You know, if it's someone maybe may have done something bad to you and, and you thinking, oh, I, I, you know, just thinking negative thoughts towards them, you know, that that can it can harm you as well. OK, it can tag it, it can attack them and you uh, as well. And uh, and if you do, if you know, if 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 anyone is doing that, you need to stop, you know, stop and take a deep breath. You know, and and instead of sending all that hate and just you know, ask the, ask the, your spirit guys or the, uh, your you know, whomever you may want to call on, ask them to take that away from you, because see, you don't want to you you destroying yourself as well as uh, sending you know destroying them as well, and you don't want to do that. What you want to do is clear your like I said, take a deep breath, clear that energy, send love to them instead of sending bad thoughts and stuff, you know, just send love, you know, just I send love to whoever it may be, you know, they love just the, the uh, vibration of love just surround them, you know, you want to do that because like I said, you don't want to, you know, send uh, negative vibes to someone else into yourself because like I said, you harming yourself as well as, as them as well. And also we have to be very mindful of energy vampires. <laughs> I was married to one for 25 years, you know, um, energy vampires, you have to be very, very careful about it because they're narcissistic. And if you're not careful and, but you know what, I have, I have to give them props because going through that 25 years, it made me grow into the person I am, I am now, but to get back on subject. Energy vampires, which are narcissistic, narcissistic people, they can take you all the way down. You, you know, if you, if you're around them and if you can't take it, you need to leave. And then like it did, it made me grow. It made me became strong before I left there. And he knew, I, you know, I told him you cannot penetrate my fear. So, you know, if you're strong enough to, to, to know how to deal with a narcissist, then you can, you know, you, you eventually they'll leave you alone. But if not, they will drive you in the ground. Okay. And also we have to be aware of false healers because it's so many false healers out here, you all, you know, and that's from, uh, psychic, uh, even psychic people, even massage therapists, even doctors, you know, it's, it's so many, uh, psychic, uh, I mean, it's so many false healers that's, that's on the scene now that you really have to be mindful and use your intuition when you go to uh, book an appointment with some of these people because, like I said, they're psychic uh, vampires and they, and they have to have that energy from a from a live body. And when they get you in their chair or uh, uh, put you on your table, they draw on your energy. So you really have to be mindful of that. You know, you have to be careful. Okay. So uh, now we're going to talk about uh, psychic attacks in your sleep. Now this is what happened to me to. Uh, this morning. Now, some people call it night terrors. Uh, some people call it nightmares. But what it is, is that this is when your body, your spirit, and your mind is being invaded by, ener by energy entities, uh, energy parasites, or uh, dynamic beings. Okay? Or a per and then, now, sometimes it can be from an alive person. You know, sometimes people can uh, have someone, if they, and then they might, you know, they can be putting black magic on you, hexes and things of that nature as well. So, that, and again, that's why it's so important that we have to be protected because, you know, some people, some people can do some really bad things to try to, you know, get to a person uh, either way they can, in, 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 in any way they can is rather, okay? And then they, and, uh, not only with the spells, uh, but with that negative thinking, with the negative thoughts, like I was talking about earlier, that can be just as worse. Okay. So if, if someone is attacking you, um, uh, for any reason and, uh, for the, uh, now the attack, now you have to be in control, uh, 
you you have to now let's see here now so if anyone is attacking you uh for the reason the attack now you have to be in control of your dream state now the purpose is to try to uh see what they want to do is to try to make you weak and make you vulnerable so you have to be in control of that of uh of that extra state like I did this morning. I had to take control of that because if I hadn't took control of it, because see, it hadn't happened to me before. It had happened to me. It's been happening to me. I've had it to happen before. But I learned you have to control your dreams. You can't let your dreams control you. Okay, because like I said, they want to catch you when you're weak and vulnerable, see. And uh, that's when you can become sick and, and you're not able, and, and you know, and then when they, you know, you can't get your rest and stuff, and when you can't get the proper sleep, then, you know, that makes you sick as well because you need to get so many hours of rest per uh, per night. And I'm, uh, I'm going to say this here, too. While I was doing my detoxing, when I first started my detoxing, it was for about a week that I, I couldn't sleep. You know, I kept, uh, I couldn't hardly go out to sleep. And then when I do get, get to sleep, I would wake up. So, you know... That was the, the power of those herbs was, was working with my, you know what I'm saying, working with me with the parasites and stuff, you know, that's in your body and stuff like that. It can just disrupt your sleep and things, because like I say, energy comes all kind of ways, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, to, yeah, and see, what they want to do is to keep you from rising up. You know, they want to keep you from getting, from making it, from, from rising up, you know, going, getting up to that higher vibration. They don't want you to meet with your spirit guys. They don't want you to meet with your ancestors. They don't want you to meet with your uh, angels and, 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 and guys and stuff. See, they trying to keep you pulled down here on this lower level. They don't want you to ascend up higher, see. And let's see. And then, you know, like when we sleep and when we in the sleep state, uh, not only do we dream, but we travel as well. And, uh, and so we should be visiting the higher dimensions. We should be working with our spirit guides. We should be uh, working with our divine counterparts, our ancestors, our spirit guides, you know, our, um, our angels and, uh, you know, the um, ascended masters. That's, who, that's who, when we're sleeping. That's who we should be. That's who we should be with. That's who that's who we should be. You know what I'm saying? We should be on that level of, of the ascending masters, the angels, our ancestors. Because see, when we when we on that level with them, that's when we get downloads. That's when they show us stuff. You know, that's when they uh, you know, that's when we're in the higher states. So, uh, and see, those lower energies and lower vibrations don't want, don't want us to get to that state, okay? But I can tell you one thing, I'm going to get there. I used to be there, but I kind of lost my way within the last two years. But I'm working on getting my way back there, you know, because I remember some years ago, I, I remember being at the round table with my spirit guides and, and my ancestors and stuff. I remember that. So if any of you all ever had an uh, um, uh, encounter like that, put it, in the, um, put it in the comments and let me know. Because I've had that. I was at the round table. And I was, in, I was uh, vibrating at a higher level. So that's what I'm trying to get back to. But see, they, uh, those lower energies and lower vibrations want to keep me here. So, uh, but yeah. So uh, when we're under attack in our sleep, we're being pulled down, like I said, into the lower dimensions, and we're unable to have those meetings with, with our uh, team, with our divine counterpart, you know, because we're too busy surviving <laughs> while we're sleeping, you know what I'm saying, trying, you know, fighting in our sleep and stuff, you know, and we ain't got time for that. It's time to move to a higher level, okay? So now I'm going to share with you some... Uh, some tools that we can use to help us uh, doing this transition of trying to reach the, the higher levels of vibration. But first of all, uh, we need to drink more water, okay? Drinking more water, clearing our systems, because our body is like 70% water. We have to have water. So water is, is, uh, is one of the most important uh, tools that we need. And uh, also, taking showers, uh, using salt scrubs, 
taking baths with sea salt, Himalayan pink salt, Epsom salt, and some, you know, some people, you know, some might want to use certain herbs to take spiritual baths and whatnot. But, you know, taking a bath and showers and stuff is very important, keeping our aura clean. See, we got to keep that aura clean, you know, to where it can, you know, so we can have a nice auric feel, okay? And also smudging. Now, that's what I did this morning. Um, I did uh, smudge my bed once I woke up from that dream. I smudged my bed. You know, um, I was drinking some rose, some tea infused in rosemary, in which I'm going to talk about that later. And, um, yeah, smudging is good. You know, get you a, a, some sage and smudge your, your bed up around the head part of your bed. If you want to go underneath the bed, under in the back of the bed, you know, wherever you can get, just smudge around your bed and smudge your room. Uh, you know, just smudge it. Smudge the room to where you can get that sage sent in there. And if you can, if you got a window, you know, crack your window and sweep all that negative energy. If you got, um, I have a feather or either like uh, those cinnamon brooms, you can just take that and sweep. You know, just, just think of just sweeping all that negative energy from your space and it's going out of the window. You can do that, okay? And also, um, candles, um, using a black candle. You can use a black candle. You know, black candles is good for negativity, to remove negative, uh, uh, move negativity. And if you don't have a black one, you can use a white one, okay? That's good as well. And you can also get those uncrossing candles too. They sell in the um, in the metaphysical stores. Uh, you can use those as well to try to if you have any type of you know cross conditions or whatnot. You can you know you can use those type of candles as well. Okay, and then uh, crystals, black tourmaline. This is mine. I, I usually keep this up by my bed, but last night I didn't because um, the full moon was, was been the last two nights here. And so I had it in my uh, windowsill. And, I, and, you know, I, I had the moon. You know, the moon was, was, was clearing it for me. And then I have my black turbulene stone here. I mean black obsidian. I'm sorry. Excuse me. And then pyrite is also good for removing those negative energies. So you can use those. And essential oils, that I got left from over there, but I have rosemary. Rosemary is good for mental clarity. That's what I drank it for, and it's, I think it's also good for inflammation as well. I just bought it the other day uh, because uh, I knew I used to have rosemary, but I ran out. So I went to the store and bought me some rosemary, and I've been drinking it in my tea. What I do is put, I put some some honey, some raw honey, in my uh, in my cup. You know, that's if you like honey, and you infuse it. You you put a drop or two of the rosemary in the honey, and you stir it around. Now this keeps the oil from coming up to the top, and you mix it in real good with the with the honey, the rosemary, the two drops of rosemary. And then you put your tea bags in there and you pour your hot water on it. And you can let it sit for a few minutes, you know, and let it steep. So, and when you drink it, you just, you, you can just feel the healing, all that, uh, the aroma go up your nose, all through your sinuses and everything. And another thing you can do too, um, you can get some olive oil. You know, olive oil is a carry oil. Put you two or three drop, drops in there. Rub your temples. Uh... And also, you can rub, you know, uh, kind of rub underneath your neck. And it's good for your thyroid as well. So you can rub your thyroid and then take it and rub down the back of your neck. So you can do that with rosemary and olive oil. Okay? And also, shielding and protecting. Okay? Usually, normally when I go out, uh, because I'm, uh, I have to go out and see people in their home sometimes, and I have to be very cautious about that. So I always wear me, uh, take this crystal here. I take this one and I have another one. Um, oh, I can't call the name of it. It's the clear, the clear quartz. I take that and I put, <laughs> you can either put it in your pocket. So, you know, most time I wear dresses, I don't have pockets, but I put it in my bra. So it depends on where you would like to put it. 
You know, when I'm going around a lot of people, I always put this in my bra. And if I have pants, I put it in my pocket. You know, I carry both of them. I put one in each pocket. Okay. Black obsidian stone and clear quartz. Okay. You can do that. Or either, you know, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have any crystals, hey, call on Archangel Michael to protect you, to put that shield of protection around you. Call upon the goddess Shekmat, which is the goddess of healing, uh, uh, healing and protection. You know, uh, ask her to protect you, putting her protection around you everywhere you go. And I do that as well. You know, uh, your, your protective angels and goddesses, ask them to protect you as you going in and out during the day, you know. And uh, cutting and detaching cords. Um, now that's if you've been, you know, if you've been, been around people, or uh, been in a long relationship, you, you, you've, you have cords attached, whether you want to think it or not. And it took me a while to just get really detached from my husband of 25 years that, you know, so you, that's a lot of years and, and you have plenty of cords that's attached. Now, a lot of people say they don't like cutting the cords. You know, uh, they like detaching them. You know, it's up to you. You know, if you don't want to cut them, you can detach them. Just say, for instance, if you, uh, in your heart chakra, just like a hook, you can just unhook it and just say, you know, I now unhook all the the years of long, uh, everything I've been through with this person or whatnot, whatever you want to say. You just, you know, uh, just recite it. And just ask the, your spirit guides to just remove that from you. And once they remove it from you, just say thank you. Thank you, thank you for removing those those hooks of attachment, okay? Or either the cause of attachment. All right, so, and then uh, last but not least, but meditation. Meditation, energy work, clearing your chakras. All that is very important in trying to, uh, to get rid of psychic attacks. So um, I know this video was kind of long, but I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, again, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like. Um, if you like this, you know what what I do. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. So you all take care, be blessed, and have a wonderful day. Bye bye for now.